Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a skincare, beauty, wellness, I'm trying to go through all them in my mind, spiritual blogger. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and my website, planetlauren.com, where you'll also come across my ebook. I wrote my first ever ebook, it's 30 pages long. It costs $29 and it's called Manifest Like Lauren because I can literally bring anything I want into my life. I have a few videos coming out on it of just crazy things I've manifested, coincidences that are seemingly impossible. And I wanted to share my formula with you. We all have the gift. You just have to learn how to tap into it. And I show you how to do that in a very fun, easy to read kind of way. So I am now 40 years old and I can't believe it. I still feel like I'm maybe 28, but I have so much gray, which I think you can see starting to peek out there. <laughs> I'm covered in gray hair. I actually, at this point in my life, I have to get my hair colored every three weeks because it's so dark and the grays just show up. My hair grows very fast. So anyways, I wanted to share with you my skincare routine that I'm using every night right now. And just to be completely transparent with you because I always am, I have a little bit of Botox right here. It's baby Botox. And you can see I can still smile. I can still get a little bit of a crow's feet coming out. I actually probably am due for it soon. I think the last time I had it was maybe in August and I'm filming this in December. And I also have a little bit here, it's a preventative type of baby Botox just to prevent those 11s from coming. I don't have any on my forehead. You can see there's some lines. There's definitely movement. I just, for some reason, don't move my eyebrows when I talk. I have no idea why. I've just always been like this. I didn't even know I that I didn't move my eyebrows until actually an esthetician pointed it out to me. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh yeah, I don't. But that's part of the reason why my forehead is so smooth. The other reason is because of the skincare products I use, I am an ingredient freak. I love just, I've realized, I guess I would say over the years, what ingredients really work on the skin. And I've honed in on products that have those ingredients while not having a huge list of ingredients that I refuse to put on my face. It really comes down to the ingredients and the products. My background is in biomechanical engineering, and I also have a master's of science in nursing. So the sciency part of it is very fun for me and I love to actually research the ingredients. So when I am at nighttime, I always do a, I start off with a double cleansing skincare routine. So I first use an oil-based cleanser. That's going to lift up all of the makeup, skincare, SPF, dust, dirt, debris, pollution, anything that's gotten on my face during the day, sweat, you name it. And it's going to start lifting this off my skin and dissolving it. Then I go in with a water-based cleanser and that's going to wash everything away. I do this on days where I have no makeup on and days where I'm wearing a full face of makeup. And because I'm in the media industry, I tend to go out at night quite a bit, especially right now it's event season and I'll be wearing false eyelashes. I have eyelash glue, lots of black eyeliner. You know, I'm wearing the full face. So this gets rid of everything. And with cleansers, I'm just a strong believer that you don't need to spend a lot of money on what you're using to cleanse your skin. You just have to find products with the right ingredients. So the, um, I'm sorry, the oil-based cleanser that I use is this one, it's by the Inky List, and this is the Oat Cleansing Balm. As far as cleansers go, this one is very, I would say reasonably priced. It's The price is great. Uh, I don't like to say words like affordable or budget because what's affordable to one person isn't affordable to someone else. So I just find that a bit rude. So I will say as far as cream cleansers go, this is one of the cheapest ones I've ever come across. And is actually the best one as well. Now, this doesn't sting the eyes, so if I was wearing a full face of makeup right now, I would just always swipe down or move my eye, swipe down. I would, I feel like I'm on my phone. I would just always go in a downward motion to get all of that eye makeup off. I don't wanna go like this to my eye because that could disrupt my lashes. So, 
that's it and then i'll use a little bit of water to just sort of emulsify the cleanser on my skin what i love about this cleanser too is that it's just so incredibly nourishing to the skin my skin is incredibly incredibly dry so you can see that it starts to turn a bit white it's a little bit milky looking and even if you have oily skin, don't be afraid of using a, an oil-based cleanser because the oil is going to lift up other oil. It's not going to make your skin more oily. It will actually help to remove the excess oil you have on your face. So I'm just going to wash this off. I would say mostly wash it off. You can see that it's still on my face just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my cream-based cleanser. Now I'm a big fan of V's Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Once again, you can get this at the drugstore. In terms of face cleansers, the ingredients are fantastic. And the price point is on the lower side of what you would find for cream cleansers. So this one is packed with ceramides. And ceramides are part of our stratum corneum, the outermost layer of our skin. Ceramides are going to prevent transepidermal water loss, meaning that the moisture that's within your skin is going to stay there. It's not going to dissipate through the skin. And they just make the skin stronger. They strengthen the skin's barrier. They make the skin more elastic, more moisturized. That means more plumped up. They're a great ingredient to use in your skincare routine, especially after the age of 25, especially when you're in your 40s, because what happens is the amount of ceramides our body naturally produces begins to decline. So, excuse me, we need to uh, sort of put them on topically to replenish them. So now my skin is clean, and because it's so clean, it can absorb all the ingredients <clears throat> I'm about to put into my onto my face. And if you still have remnants of makeup or skincare, whatever on your skin, and you're putting those and those products on your face, what's gonna happen is they're gonna act as little barriers. So if you don't properly wash all your makeup off, the makeup is still gonna be on your skin. And then when you're putting on your retinol or any of your other products, they're going to prevent them from reaching as far as they should go to work their magic. So there's no point in buying the expensive products if you don't wash your face properly to begin with. And <clears throat> that was something I had to learn over time because I used to not double cleanse and I didn't realize I always still had a ton of makeup on my face when I went to bed at night. So the first ingredient I'm using is this one. This is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Now this is an oil product, an oil-based product, but I use it first because I want to get that retinoic acid ester, which is what's in this product, to, into my skin um, first. And I do find that this oil is quite light, so it does sink into my skin quite nicely. Now, this has hydroxypenicolone retinoate, also known as HPR in it, and that's a retinoic acid ester. What that means is when the goes on, it goes onto the skin and it sinks into the skin, it's immediately able to bind with the retinoic receptors that we have in our skin. And it's going to be able to start working right away, just like a prescription strength retinol would. There's different types of retinols and this one, in my opinion, is the absolute best one out there because it's not as harsh on the skin as prescription grade retinol is, which is a you know a, under the retinoid umbrella, but it's also going to work just as quickly and be just as effective. And this is great for smoothing out the fine lines and wrinkles, increasing the cell turnover and smoothing the skin, um, giving the skin an even tone and just really renewing, refreshing so your skin looks healthy and less fine lines and wrinkles are noticeable. There's nothing wrong with aging at all, but there's also nothing wrong with just having your skin look the healthiest it possibly can. So after I use that, I then put on my lactic acid. Now, if you're new to skincare, this is probably something you don't want to combine on your skin like I do. I've been using this for quite some time, but lactic acid is a wonderful alpha hydroxy acid 
to use on your skin every night. If you're a newbie, my recommendation is to alternate, use retinol one night, use lactic acid the next night, and then just alternate it and then eventually combine them if you want to. Of course, you can talk to your dermatologist about that. Uh, so this is the Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley. And I am wearing some Sunday Riley PJs. These were given to me as a media gift ages ago, but I've actually been a Sunday Riley fan for quite some time before I got on their radar. So I promise you this is not sponsored. I wish it was, that would be amazing. So this lactic acid is going to exfoliate my skin, but it's also going to moisturize and hydrate my, or moisturize my skin, I should say. So this is going to unglue the dead skin cells on my face, sort of the bonds between them, and then they're just going to slough off and new fresh skin will be revealed underneath. I use this every single night and it's part of the reason why my skin is always just so bright and glowy. I also use it on my chest and normally I would have it go all over my chest. If you're wondering how low you should go, go from the nipples up. That is the my uh, trick. And then also I always rub excess of everything onto my hands. Oh, you know what? One thing I wanted to mention, I'm not putting this on because I got it wet. I always sleep with silk scrunchies at night just to keep my hair from breaking. So I have now my lactic acid on my skin and I'm gonna go into my under eye area. That is my, I would say, problem area because I just get lines around my eyes like we all do. So I like to use ingredients that have, I like to use products that have ingredients like peptides in them. Peptides are actually little tricky things. This is the Sunday Riley Shaba Complex Eye Serum. It's a thin serum and it's loaded with peptides. And what they do is wherever you place them, they send a message to your brain that there's an injury at the site. So now my brain's starting to think, okay, Lauren has an injury underneath her eyes. We need to go down there and produce more collagen. And you can see where that's going. With more collagen, of course, your skin is just going to be firmer and the lines underneath your eyes are going to be minimized. After that, I go in with the Drunk Elephant Ceramide AF Eye Balm. This one is loaded with ceramides, among other wonderful ingredients. Oops, and you know what? Here's a testament to how much I love this. I just ran out. <laughs> so this is a pea-sized amount, but as you can imagine, normally I'd have a little bit more and I just go into that under eye area and just really work that cream in. And that's going to, once again, it just strengthen that skin barrier, keep the water in, keep it plumped and moisturized looking. And that's how you, you know, want your under eye area to be. Now, I do want to mention with that lactic acid, Right now my skin feels a little bit tingly. That is totally normal. There's times where you put skincare on and it's burning and that's something you need to get off your face right away because your skin's having a reaction to it and it's compromising your skin's barrier. With lactic acid, when you first put it on, if it tingles for the first few minutes, that is a-okay. So lastly, I'm going to go in. I have all of my products are wet right now because I had them lined up in my sink and then I was washing my face. So I'm gonna go in with my two creams. This is the Sunday Riley Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is one, this one is a little bit more of a gel. And so this has the peptides in it and it has wonderful other ingredients in it. Lots of emollients and uh, moisturizers, emollients, uh, let me think. It has hydrators in it. And this one has the ceramides. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. These are both great for giving my skin just a beautiful high, a, you know, a beautiful coat of moisture during the night. So unfortunately, I just ran out of this one, the Lala Retro. So I'm just gonna put this proteiny on my skin. But this is going to keep my skin just moisturized throughout the night. You know, if you're like me, you might feel like your skin's dry in the morning. And so when you use ingredients or creams like this one, it's going to prevent that. So when you wake up, your skin doesn't feel like it's going to crack in half. But you can see now my skin is just, you know, it looks very glowy, it looks very dewy, and it's just loaded with the right ingredients to keep my face protected and moisturized throughout the night. Lastly, I like to put on a coat of this. This is the Biosense 100% Squalene Oil. And this comes from, 
olives. It's a vegan squalene oil. It's a lightweight oil. And I just put it on my skin to kind of seal everything in. And this replenishes part of our natural moisturizing factors that is called squalene. It's an ingredient our body naturally produces that, of course, once we turn 25, the amount our body produces starts to decline. So we can replenish it. We can put it onto our skin topically to give us just that nice moisture that our skin so desperately needs. And although it comes from olives and it's called squalene oil in our skin, we naturally have squalene. It just means that it has to undergo two chemical reactions to become a more stable form of squalene called squalene. And that's just because otherwise it goes rancid quite quickly if it's in the squalene form. I know this because I research this stuff. This is what I do for fun. So that is my nighttime skincare routine. Usually I will actually have my hair back so it doesn't get caught into all of my lotions and potions, but it works just so well for me and it really gives my skin everything it needs. And I feel like my skin looks better now than it did when I was 25. If you're wondering what I use in the morning, you can check out that morning skincare, can't talk, my morning skincare routine video right here.